Okay, so your computer turns on but the screen remains black or blank like you see in this video. Or perhaps it glows like you see in this photo. Or perhaps it's distorted or has lines. One of the easiest possible reasons of this is a bad RAM stick. So we will show you a simple test you can perform to figure out if one of your sticks of RAM have gone bad. Now first you're going to unplug your computer and remove your battery. Next, you're going to look for an easy access panel for you to get to your RAM stick. If you can't find this easy access panel, perhaps you don't have one or it's hard to find on yours, go ahead and look up a disassembly video on your make and model of your computer or visit your manufacturer's website. Now remove this easy access panel and we're going to take out one stick of RAM, just like so. And we're going to do it by putting both our fingers, one on each arm, and pulling out like seen in this shot right here. We're going to remove one stick of RAM because RAM is like a headlight on a car. They tend to go one at a time. So we're going to see if it works with just one stick. We're going to close the computer up, up like you see in this video. Put that panel back on. And keeping in mind there's only one stick of RAM. So you know if there's one stick of RAM in there and it works, well then you know it's a problem with, your RAM, with the other RAM stick. Now you're going to put the battery back in and you're going to plug your computer back on, back and you you're, you're going to plug your computer back in. Now you're going to try turning it on. Now, if it still doesn't display, that's okay. We're going to try it again. We do the same method, but we're going to try removing the other stick of RAM. So take your battery out, unplug your computer and go back into that easy access panel. Now as a quick shout out, occasionally it can be a problem where your RAM is loose, so you may just need to reinsert both RAM sticks and see if it turns on. This is a less likely scenario, but it's always worth checking. So once you get back into your computer, you're going to take that other RAM stick out, just like so, and you're going to put the other RAM stick back in because it could be one of these sticks have gone bad. So we're going to try reversing it. And we're going to put the panel back on. And we're going to do a simpler thing. Now, we help you out at the end of this video and we show you how what to look for and how to order another RAM stick by giving you the the make and kind of RAM you have showing you in a picture. And we also tell you how to continue the troubleshooting method if you find that it isn't your RAM stick. So hang in there. All right, now the panel is all shut up. The battery's back in. I'm going to plug it back in and then you're going to try once again turning on your computer. If your computer springs to life, then you know it's a problem with that other RAM stick. It's time to order another RAM stick. Now, how you do this is first look for, for what the make is. Write this down. You can order the same kind. And then now look for what the model number is. Write down to the S. You usually don't need to include the S uh, as a part of the number. You can write just the rest of the numbers into eBay or Amazon and pull up the right kind of RAM stick. Now, to continue the troubleshooting method. If you find it isn't your RAM, the next thing you're going to need to do is try connecting it to an external monitor to see if it displays to it. If it does, then you know that it's most likely a problem with your LCD or your LCD cable. Now, the next thing after that, if that does not work, you need to try to replace your CMOS battery. It's less likely in the RAM, but it does happen. You can refer to the video down below. It will show you how to perform a BIOS reset, which involves removing the CMOS battery. You can sh use this video to show you how to replace the CMOS battery because this, oftentimes when a CMOS battery has gone bad, it can cause these kinds of display issues. So that would be the next logical choice is to try to replace that CMOS battery. And like I said, down below, we show you what it looks like and how to remove it properly from your motherboard. Or Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If it was in any way helpful, please go ahead, like, share. If you have questions, leave comments down below. We're really good about answering them. If you like free IT advice, if you like knowing how to fix your computer yourself, or if you just like knowing how your computer works, go ahead and subscribe. But anyway, this is Liz from One Egghead to Another Egghead checking out.